to do something totally unexpected. In fact, this is this applies for people who are dating. Maybe unakuanga hivi siku moja fanya tu kikitu kasirishe huko mse. That way you will see them in their true colors. Like make them so angry like one. Hello guys, welcome to today's video. So I'll be covering uh, law number 31 all the way to law number 48. Guys, I hope you guys have subscribed and I hope, I really hope you've watched part one of this series. It was covering law number one all the way to law number 30. Guys, and not only listen to the video but apply. These laws are just not things you read and then unaacha. These are principles of life. They are meant to benefit you, to help you out in life. Okay? So, I'll be mentioning uh, a comment per video. Say the best comment. And for today, I'm going to give a shout out to Debbie Osebe. I really hope I'm getting the name right. Hi Debbie, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. So guys, if you like, if you'd like for your comment to be read in the next video, make sure you comment down below. You give the video a thumbs up and also if uh you have a book that you've been wanting to read, uh your friends have suggested but pa perhaps you don't have the time, you don't have the book, trust you me like I have a library of so many books. So, and maybe, and again, as I said, my freestyling, my homesteading life, uh, it kind of allows me, eh? it gives me time to read and to go through all these books. So, put it down in the comments below. So, guys, what video would you, what uh, book would you like for us to go through next? So, anywho, let's jump to law number 31. Okay, and guys, subscribe, tafadhali, so that the next book, once it comes out, eh? you get an alert so subscribe and that cabell thingy that that's a notification bell make sure you press it that way anytime you may release video utapata notification okay so guys law number 31 i love this eh? it's control the options get others to play with the cards you deal control the options okay so uh ideally what this point means is don't give people like a lot of choices control the options uh let me give an example eh? these specs huh? these are my specs assuming i want to sell them to somebody and i know very well i only have like uh these are maroon frames and maybe i have white frames okay so if a customer comes to me and they want to buy frames I won't be like, oh, which color do you want? Knowing very well, I don't have like a variety of color. I only have two. So I'm going to be like, oh, guy, how are you? So what we have today is we have uh, maroon and we have white. What would you want to pick? Okay? You get my point. So whatever the outcome, uh, you control the options. You see? You see? You see? I told you these are principles. Eh? Very applicable in real life. So, I hope you've gotten that. Let's go to law number 32. Law number 32 is play to people's fantasies. Okay? Each and everyone has some bit of fantasy. Eh? So, if you want to get by in life, you can create a spectacle. Maybe there is this person who imagines themselves to be a god a god like small g you know how you play into and maybe you want to woo this this guy who thinks he's a god of some sort play to their fantasies okay I'm a, in fact eh, let me bring it closer to home let's say there's this politician friend of yours you know they are aspiring to be let's say the president okay so if you want to get this person's attention play with their fantasies like oh mr president you get my point You'll get what you want faster with that in mind. As opposed to, are you getting my point? Play to people's fantasy. What do they desire most? Okay? Work around that to get your way. That is law number 32. Remember guys, I told you these laws, eh? They are not really nice, but they are laws meant to help you survive in this earth. Okay? So guys, law number 33. Uh, be royal in your own fashion, act like a king, 
to be treated like one okay if you want people to treat you in a certain way you have to behave in a certain way okay if you want people to treat you like an artist you have to have uh, the characteristics uh, the charisma of an artist you get my point if you want let's say uh, an office a serious office job a uh, white collar is it white yes a white collar job you have to look the part look like a king to be treated like one okay this is for you who think uh, uh people should see what is on the inside i know it sounds really good but again that's a fantasy people the first thing they do is they judge your outward they judge you by your outward appearance guys I guess uh, an example is you see the way I look right now it's because I'm reviewing a book this this is because I'm reviewing a book I know the people watching this are maybe a little bit more serious they, there's an image they want you get my point but in reality uh, from what you've seen in the rest of my videos I'm doing um, a lot of farming content and when I'm doing the farming content, trust you me, I won't be having any makeup like I'm as raw as they come. You get my point. Like, it's very important to take uh, whatever space you want to get into, like, give it your all. You get my point. So act like a king to be treated like one. That is be royal in your own fashion. Law number 34, guys, are uh, master the art of timing. Okay? Timing is everything in life. Okay? Timing, especially in business. Eh? In fact, there was this research that was done by some bunch of people. Uh, they were trying to find out, like, the number one most important contributor to a business's success. And guess what? It was timing. For example, I'm going to give uh, a very good example, say, Corona times, eh? Corona period, people couldn't really, people are stuck at home, basically. So if there was ever a time, and if there is ever a time for you to maybe, you know, uh, start a YouTube channel, start something online, this is the time. And as you've seen, like, all types of video nini um uh, youtubers have cropped up during this time okay because people have time so master the art of timing in every aspect of life don't just do if you're thinking maybe of launching a business ask yourself when is the best time okay assuming it's a vocational kind of business maybe busy skills or total soma or after my maliza shule don't do it when kids are don't launch it when kids are in school gojia wa malize okay then do the launch timing is everything okay that was law number 34 law number 35 uh disdain things you can't have this is just this is a very funny point eh? disney this this hey disdain things you can't have like ka wezi patakitu like you're better off instead of stressing yourself oh i can't have that all. just like ata hizo sipendi you know and most men wanatumianga hii tactic sana 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 you know <laughs> you know how men if maybe anako approach and then for one reason or the other you're not feeling the guy like kitambo this man would actually abuse you and a ring ata hana us you, you get my point they they know like they can't have you so they disdain one could this so it makes them feel better about themselves maybe there's this very high up chick and that you are passing to boy so what do they do they call her socialite they say we are nakuanga na maringo so kitu to say me like hii ni kama like a balm to your soul you get kujifurahisha kujibembeleza kawezi pata kitu kubali if you don't have let's say <laughs> another by the way if you're a minimalist but this is very true so let's say uh if you don't have enough money to afford like lavish living and not living per se i would say loving spending on things so you can be 
come all of a sudden like i hate things like i hate clutter so i'm going to be a minimalism you get kumbe see you are not a minimalism because you are joining the movement you are a minimalism simply because you don't have money so unakuja kiti ni moja uh unakuja sijui like you don't have stuff in your house basically minimalism for those guys who do not know what it means it's get, getting rid of excess baggage in your house you get hizo vitu tumiangi sijui deco sijui nini like if it doesn't really really add value and not value like haina utility you get rid of it okay make sure you do that like it helps you feel good like by the between you and me i'm a minimalist maybe it's cuz i don't have the money maybe once i'm a millionaire uh cuz i'm getting there uh we'll see if it came from you get from the heart ama ni shida ziliko zimenipeleka something else eh? it's the if you can't have meat eh? sema nyama ni mbaya you get maybe too i'm a same with fast meat you're not into meat you're now a vegetarian and the real the truth is maybe uh you can only afford vegetables okay you get my point this stain things you can't have to protect yourself or what is stress nyingi uh <laughs> okay law number 37 create compelling spectacles in create drama compelling spectacles go all out if you want to create an impression go all out okay from the outfit we show you guys the campaigns in Kenya you see how those guys the spectacles they create especially Raila like if you you are kuna like kwenda nusu go all in go all out create like spectacles to get people's attention okay Remember we said court attention at all costs. Okay. Uh law number 38 think as you like but behave like others. This is very important. Think as you like but behave like others. Okay? It's okay to have this wild ideas. It's okay to be different in your head. Okay? Don't be so I remember I told you like try as much as possible to blend with people okay it will serve you in time so as much as you have this very good ideas this very different maybe you're preaching change you believe things should be done in a certain way if you're in rome but i'm going to compare this with that uh with that adage if you're in rome do what the romans do even if your head is like like my goodness what kind of culture is this go like oh i love this culture but in your head go like hapa ni kitoka you get my point okay even in jobs ukienda mahali and people are behaving a certain way and i know yes you're not like that you're not weird like that but it's wise it's for your own good eh? try to blend so so okay so let's go to number 39 stir up water to catch up water fish. to catch fish in it cause drama and you do what you do basically to know what's what is in people's heart chokoza you get my point make people angry sometimes if you really want to know like what's in a person's heart sa zingine you get start trouble do you um say like that's when you're going to get like the real picture of who you are dealing with you get my point don't be all nicey sometimes do something totally unexpected in fact this is this applies for people who are dating maybe unakuanga hivi siku moja fanya tu kikitu kasirishe huyo mse that way you will see them in their true colors like make them so angry like one and by the way keep distance ukiona huyu ni violent toroka okay don't be don't play perfect sometimes act up create scenarios so law yes. number 40 despise the free gift basically achana na vitu za bure zichukie kabisa there's nothing nothing like free if someone is calling you maybe for some kalanch and you guys are not close 
ama you've not been close enough trust you me eh so zingine be a little bit suspicious because chances are there is an agenda behind that okay so vitu za bure wastana vitu za bure wanaume because even men are there despise them okay especially if they are coming from strange sources someone maybe was so cold and then suddenly they start warming up to you inviting you out for lunch probably they want to find out some bit of information probably they want to buy your loyalty they want to buy you get and in fact the thing with free gifts is uh you're forever indebted to these people okay so anajua because this person did this to you the next time they ask for a favor of course you'll be inclined to pay back in return okay this uh law can also be applied like the other way around if you want people to rely on you if you want people to say yes to you well give out free gifts you get my point if you are the one with an agenda if you have an agenda then dish out gifts people will be indebted to you if you call them for some events they'll be obliged in a way to come to attend it's a bit hypocritical but again i told you uh 48 laws of power they're not meant to make you happy they're not meant to make you this is not the bible okay and actually even the bible is very realistic this is the real life okay real life principles real life laws that uh, if you apply in your life ama it, it's uh, the thing about knowing these laws it opens up your eyes so someone approaches you and then i'm doing all this kind of thing if you know the 48 laws of power it's very easy for you to discern it's very easy for you to tell who oh, you uh okay let me go find out but at the end of the day unajua hapa hapa kuna kamtego you get it makes you see the world through maybe a more clearer lens okay so let's go to law number 41 and guys if you can hear some background noise those are some uh broilers and i'm actually <laughs> i'm actually uh rearing them from the living room yes as crazy as that sounds uh, i've done a video on that so you can once you've subscribed you can check the channel and then you'll understand why i'm actually doing it in the house okay so anyway let's go to law number 41 avoid stepping into a great man's shoes to mwenye asha tengeneza jina someone who is so well known someone who is very good at what they do don't try to compare yourself to them don't try to feel to fit into their shoes a very good example was uh kolimo remember when he passed on like people kept saying like the good thing about kolimo he did not come and try to fit into his predecessor's shoes he created his own path so that is the best thing you can do create your own path usishindane nandovu kupupu get my point so avoid stepping into a great man's shoes uh if let's say you're a child you're a, your father like has this big name asha julikana he's made is a business mogul he's everything you'd like to be using you look for your own path chart your own path don't cause at the end of the day you'll always be if if you try to fit into the great man's shoes first of all you're going to lose and secondly you're always going to be like under his shadow avoid that at all costs okay this happens in, even in employment like have your own style you see kufanya the same thing the last person did okay even in relationships okay she had this uh this she had this type of ex you see and you won't lose i mean you won't win just be you chat your own path again i'm mr yako usifikirie like all these ladies she's used to such and such a man uh perhaps you're dating a classy rich lady unajua na wewe unajua like hauwezani <laughs> you're a dusty anyway you're broke uh don't go there trying to impress this lady with fake money okay fake moves things you can't even afford like be you it works at the end of the day uh law number 42 is strike the shepherd 
and the sheep will scatter. Number 43, it says work on the hearts and minds of others. This is very self-explanatory. If you want to get somewhere and you want to appeal to people, use emotion, okay? Their hearts and the mental aspect, okay? Let's go to number 44, disarm and infuriate with the mirror effect. This basically means an eye for an eye, okay? So let's say you're in a relationship and then this guy uh, who are not could text back after maybe 24 hours. You text him back after 48 hours. Don't go there complaining, trying to address the issues. You let sit and talk. Sometimes, eh, I told you, you need to do something extraordinary. He's doing 48, like 24 hours. Go 48 hours without responding. And then when he asks, like, did you see the test? Ask, oh, oh my goodness, I was so busy. Like, act, mirror his behavior. If a guy is cheating on you, You've tried talking, talking it out. You've tried reasoning with him. Kuna mahali nafika, even you, an eye for an eye. Cheat back. And when I say cheat back, for ladies, it doesn't have to be the actual cheating. I know, personally, I don't believe in revenge cheating because I don't feel... Okay, women who cheat for revenge, they end up feeling much worse because at the end of the day, uh, uh, at the end of the day that is not who you are, okay? But you can give an impression that you're actually also up to some shady business. Okay, like fake some calls, okay? Like put an alarm, let it ring, and then oh, like act all excited. Basically create a spectacle. Create a spectacle. That will infuriate him and it will change the behavior and vice versa. You get my point? Use the mirror effect. Um, don't use uh, your words to, don't, I mean, don't try to convince people to behave like, to behave a certain way, just mirror the, their behavior back, and trust you me, that will sort your issues. Uh, law number 45, preach the need for change, but never reform too much at once, okay? We see change, sana, like, don't be so drastic from zero to a hundred, but you can be, oh, you need to reform, you need to change. People are really not that much comfortable with drastic anything, drastic changes in anything. What a kuwa shocked. So it's okay. You can be preaching, oh, we need to do this, we need to start this next year. Like, let it be very gradual in such a way that people that don't even notice. People like the familiar. Okay? That is law number 45. So work with that. Law number 46, never appear too perfect, okay? We school like put together all the time, and even if you are so good at something, so I'm going to appeal to people, uh, if you're too perfect, people will feel threatened by you, people will feel, people will fear you, they won't be free, basically, they won't connect to you. So, so I'm going to 